The Intermediate Guide to Microsoft Excel 2013 This Little Piggy Goes to Market Another Computer Mama Guide This Little Piggy Goes to Market This lesson in Microsoft Excel focuses on formulas. Formulas for text, for date and time, and for financials. We're going to create our own car payment. The ribbon that we're going to focus on is the formulas ribbon and the book we're going to use is the financials. The lesson we're going to do is financials so we're going to calculate the present value, the number of payments, and the interest rates. We'll also use scenarios to see what's our best case and what's our worst case for our car payments. If you are ready, please start the program Microsoft Excel. Labels, data, formulas. We'll start with the labels. Click on cell A1 and type present value. Click on cell A2 and type number of payments. And click on cell A3. Type interest rate. Click on cell A4 and type payment. If these are labels, and they are, select A1 through A4 and click B for bold. Double click the column to make it wide enough. Now let's format the data. Click on B1 and go to Home, Number, Accounting. That's the dollar sign. Now test your data. In B1, please type 20,000. When you hit the Enter key, you should see dollar signs and decimals and pennies. Number of payments is 36. Click on B3 and we'll format that for interest. That's the percentage one. Try this. Click 4 and enter. It's formatted for percent. The car payment's going to be in B4, so that's where I've clicked for the answer. The ribbon is formulas. The book is financial. Click on Financial and scroll down to PMT, Payment. When you click on Payment, the function arguments will open. For the rate, click on B3. Row 2. Click on B2 for the number of payments. And Row 3. Click on B1 for the present value. Look again. Click on the top row where the rate is and divide that by 12. This gives me monthly interest rate. Now click OK to calculate your car payment. What do you see? I see a negative value because it's minus $590.48. That's how much will be taken from my account each month. Say you had a different interest rate or maybe a different number of payments. With Microsoft Excel you can say what if. With Goal Seek, you start with the answer. And in this formula, the answer is in B4. B4 is the car payment. What if the car payment was less? What if it was minus $400? And what if we could make it less by changing the number of payments in B2? So our goal seek is going to change cell B4 to minus $400 by changing cell B2. When you click on OK, what do you see? Oh no! Now I'm going to have 54 car payments, not 36 for that car. OK, let's try something different. This time go to What If Analysis and click on Scenario Manager. When the manager opens, it will be empty, so please click on Add to start a new scenario. For the scenario name, type Expected, and then click on Row 2, where it says Changing Cells. Reach up and select B1, 2, and 3 as the cells we will be changing. Go back to the Scenario Manager, and please click on OK. Now you'll be prompted for the values, and I'm going to keep the ones we already typed in. Click OK. That's our expected scenario. 
click Add, and this time we're going to create the best case. So type in the name best case, and we'll change the same cells, B1 through B3. This time when we're prompted, we're going to change B1, the present value, from 20,000 to 40,000. And in row 2, we'll change the number of payments from 36 to 48. Click on row 3 and we'll change the interest rate to 0 0.02 or 2%. Click OK for best case. Click Add. And now we'll do the sad one, the worst case scenario. For the scenario name, type worst case. We'll change the same three cells, B1 through B3. When you click OK, you'll be prompted to change the values. Now we'll change the present value to 10,000. Click on row 2 will change the number of payments to 60. Click on row 3 will change the interest rate to 0.11 or 11 percent. When you click OK we have three scenarios. Click on the best case one and then click on show. Oh look our payment is now $867.80. Click on the worst case and click on show. And now look, we have an 11% interest rate, but we're paying a long time, 30 months. Now click on expected and click on. It would probably be very useful if we could see all three scenarios lined up side by side. Well, yes, you can. In the scenario manager, click on summary and then click OK to create the scenario summary. Oh look! Microsoft Excel made a scenario summary on a brand new spreadsheet. It shows the current value in the three cells we are changing, B1, B2, and B3, and it also shows our three scenarios. Well, you done good. You get the cookie. And this is another Computer Mama Guide. Thank you for coming.